Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, April 16, 2013. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Chip Ramsey with the Saturday Independent Newspaper. In the night's news, Shelbyville State Senator Jim Tracy says he's raised over $400,000 as he prepares to challenge incumbent 4th District Congressman Scott Desjardins next year. A Morrison man has been charged in the murder of a Warren County woman, and Tallahoma High School resource officer Joe Brown staged an accident scene last Friday for the benefit of THS juniors and seniors. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Stay tuned. On the train test range, the search for any possible weakness continues. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Train, the most reliable for a reason. Hello, my name is Joe Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. I'm here to talk to you about a couple incentives that are going on between now and end of the year. First is your federal tax credit up to $300. Secondly, 0% financing up to 15 months on XL products. Third, spring promotion up to $1,100. Finally, $500 incentives from your local power distributor. Please give us a call at 455-8757. Thank you. Looking for a unique gift for someone special? Or perhaps something just for yourself? Then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. Let the Smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Mont Eagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop thesmokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. Welcome back. Shelby Republican State Senator Jim Tracy says he's raised some $436,000 toward a challenge against 4th District Representative Scott Desjardins. That's next year. The Bedford County Insurance Agent says he has more than $400,000 in cash on hand after expenses for the first quarter reporting period. Tracy says he will run against the incumbent in the GOP primary next year. Tracy says Desjardins is scandal ridden and doesn't deserve another term in Washington. The Jasper Medical Doctor Doctor has been under fire from social conservatives since he admitted to affairs with patients and hospital staff over a decade ago. Desjardins also urged his then wife and another woman to seek abortions. He now claims a strong pro-life stand. Another potential challenger, Rutherford County Republican State Representative Joe Carr, says that he's raised more than $200,000 to explore a primary race in 2014. The 4th District includes Bedford, Warren, Grundy, Franklin, Moore, and Rutherford counties. A Morrison man has been charged with first-degree murder in connection with the shooting death of a homeless Warren County woman. Jimmy Byron Jones Jr. was charged last week after authorities used records produced by a GPS device he was wearing to link him to the crime scene. Jones, age 51, has allegedly admitted to being involved in the March murder of Connie Lou Brown, age 58. Brown's body was discovered near an abandoned rock quarry in Summitville. She was shot in the chest and her body had been set on fire. Coffee County Sheriff's uh, Department Detective Chad Parton says that Jones was wearing a court-ordered tracking device while on probation for a 1998 rape conviction in Wilson County. He was released from prison last September. The GPS shows Jones visited the location where the victim was found on March 1st and the 4th. Brown's body was discovered four days later. Jones is being held in the Coffee County Jail on a $2 million bond. With prom, uh, prom night approaching, Joe Brown, resource officer at Tullahoma High School, held a mock accident scene last week to give the juniors and seniors a reality check about what can happen when you drive impaired. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm with resource officer Joe Brown at Tullahoma High School, and we are having a staged 
automobile accident. And Joe, tell us why this is being taking place. Well, John, uh, we like to try to do stuff uh, this time of year. It's prom season here in April. Uh, it's not just for prom, but this is when we have a lot of things happen uh, it's all over the place. Kids get out and you know, uh, get to get, get a little crazy. And I just like to do stuff to kind of get their minds back on track of uh, what can happen. Uh, you know, it can happen anytime, but uh, you know, if you've got teenagers out and they're partaking in illegal drugs or alcohol or something, and they're out driving around on the roads, uh, you know, bad things can happen. And we're just gonna kind of do a little role playing here and a little taste of reality for our juniors and seniors. They're gonna come out and view it. And we've got a simulated crash with actors that's going to play the, play the roles of the passengers in the vehicles. And uh, hopefully we can send a message and, you know, uh, make people think before they do something stupid. Here come the police and the ambulance into this wreck site. This is exactly what it would look like at a wreck site. And these people coming up to find out what's happening here. One person here that is being killed, been killed in this accident. Just let you know what can happen when you don't make the right decisions about drinking and driving or doing drugs and driving on a night that should be an important night for you, end up in disaster. And here's the driver having a sobriety test. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with Winston Brooks, who is the information officer at this accident. Uh, Winston, tell us about this tragedy. Last night about 1 a.m., the call that came in, it crashed two vehicles involved, five persons. What we know at this uh, point right now is this, uh, one critically injured and uh, life lighting is coming in, Vanderbilt life flight. Uh, there's been one fatality. The identities are not going to be released because we presume at this point that they're minors. And folks, here is the one thing you never want to see as the ending to a good night because it is not a good ending. While drinking, equal day. That's the wrong door to have closed on you. We'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Hi folks, Trey McNabb, General Manager of Stay McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. I want to tell you about one of our incredible deals, 2013 Dodge Avenger. MSRP $19,990, it could be yours for $15,900. Because of the customer service, I came back to Stan McNabb, I bought my 2012 Jeep Liberty. Don't forget about the Stan McNabb price match guarantee. We'll meet or beat any new vehicle price, or I'll give you a check for $500. Visit us 24-7 at StanMcNabb.com, and remember, if anyone can, Stan can. Your wife has given you the most precious gift you have, your family. She does so much to make every moment special for you and your children. This Mother's Day, show her your love and appreciation with beautiful jewelry from Woodard's Diamond Showroom. Whether it's with gold and diamonds, pearls or colored gems, remind her of the path you've traveled together. She surprises you in subtle ways every day. Isn't it time you return the favor in a big way? 
won just about everything there is to win in racing. What's next? I'd like more people to know about ER Extra. The emergency room at Harton Regional Medical Center? I just want them to get the best care they can get. That just gets me right here, Mark. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to pay him a visit. <laughs> ER Extra at Harton Regional Medical Center. ER Extra. Extra fast, extra easy, extra great. Welcome back. An early morning raid last Friday, led by the Manchester Police Department, culminated in the arrest of three dozen individuals indicted in a sting operation against prescription pill mills. Manchester Police Chief Mark Yother called the sting Operation Spring Cleaning. Jim spoke with Manchester Police Department uh, investigator Billy Butler about the sting. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at City Hall in Manchester today. I'm speaking with Billy Butler, who's the chief investigator of the police department here in uh, Manchester. A big operation going on today. Billy, tell us a little bit about what's happening here. That's all right. Uh, first off, it's uh, oper called Operation Spring Cleaning. Uh -huh. um, we targeted, uh, actually, people that sell selling their pills. Uh, we've, we're arresting at least 36 people today. We've got a few on state warrants that we're going to arrest also. Uh, in the beginning of this operation, we've arrested at least 50 people. Uh, we've done numerous search warrants. Uh, we've prosecuted and we've referred cases to the federal agencies on weapons charges and drug charges. Uh, the majority of the cases today are going to be uh, pill cases uh, where people are actually selling their, their prescription pills. Out here in other the words, they have a prescription and they're actually a legitimate prescription that's sold it to someone else. And some of those are some that we, you and I pay for up from TenCare. Mm -hmm. uh, TenCare folks couldn't participate today, but they're normally with us on every operation. Um, and we've gone out already today, this morning, and got three subjects right now in here in the courtroom, and we're interviewing those people, uh, giving them an opportunity to tell us the truth. Uh, some will, some won't, um, and we'll uh, we'll be some of them sold within a school zone, like a thousand feet of a school zone. So there'll be an enhancement charge for some of those. And there's at least three people in here right now that are charged in that aspect, which is a very major thing: selling drugs within a thousand feet of a school zone. Now, you guys actually set up, you're set up here in the courtroom at City Hall. We are. So, so you're processing these people right here as you bring them in. We are. Right? Yeah, we met this morning, uh, 5.30 this morning, at the Veterans Building right off Shelton Road. They provided us uh, breakfast this morning, and we're very proud that the vet, our veterans done that for us this morning. Uh, and we met there, and we dispersed the teams from there, and then we're going to end up here. We're going to process them here, and then we're going to take them straight to jail. Tell us a little bit about the processing and how that goes. You, know, you, you bring them here, it looks like you're photographing them. Yeah, we're bringing them in, in here. We're going to photograph them. We're going to take their information, add it to the arrest reports, uh, interview them. We're going to interview them here, over here to the side, and then we're going to take them straight to jail. Okay. And uh, is this... Uh, arresting these people, is that the result of an undercover operation that you've previously It is. It, this operation has been taking place since September. I see. And it's gone up until this point. Like I said, we've arrested several people already. Uh, we've referred cases to the federal agencies, some of them, and uh, and then we're doing the rest of them today. Okay. All right. And how many officers are uh, from the uh, uh, Manchester Police Department are involved in this? All of the Manchester Police Department is involved. Everybody Everybody's that's involved. Okay. Today, uh, and that's unusual too. We normally bring in teams from Tullahoma, uh, the DA's office, mm -hmm. the sheriff's office. Of course, we do have people from the DA's office and the sheriff's office, and Tullahoma is helping us in Tullahoma. Mm -hmm. So they didn't actually come here, but they're helping us in Tullahoma. So, so the arrests that you guys are conducting are not just in the city of Manchester; no, they're all countywide. Countywide. Yeah. We've got a few people, a couple of people in Franklin County. We got, we got to get. Mm -hmm. Uh, one or two in Cannon County as so, well. Okay. Well, Billy, thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Stay with us. We'll be right back in a moment.
When you're running late headed to that sporting event or horse show and hungry but need gas, you don't have to choose which to get. Just stop at any quick mark where gas prices are normal and the food is outstanding. Burgers, fries, salads, sub sandwiches, chicken strips, egg rolls, even pizza can be picked up while the gas is pumping. Stop by any Quick Mart today and not only save time, but enjoy some good cooking, southern hospitality, and prices you can live with. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. The highest standard of excellence requires dedication and commitment. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of excellence in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Welcome back. The Coffee County Emergency Management Authority held a safety day last Saturday at Northgate Mall in Tullahoma. Jim spoke with EMA Director Alan Lindley. Ladies and gentlemen, we're speaking with Alan Lindley, who is the head of the Emergency Management Association in Coffee County. A great event here you're, you're having here today at Northgate Mall. Uh, Alan, tell us a little bit about this event. Well, Jim, this is our third annual safety day here in, at the mall, and uh, it's a it's a big event. We got beautiful weather today. Uh, lots of folks coming out. We're talking about safety and preparedness. Uh, we got a lot of different folks: fire, EMS, police, weather services here. So we're talking about a lot of different safety and preparedness things. Uh, you know, severe weather season's just around the corner. So the weather service is up there. They're programming weather radios for folks if they bring them in. Uh, we're pushing uh, uh, how to be prepared at home, you know, for severe weather and things. Uh, bounce houses out there. The kids are playing out there in the bounce house and stuff. So everybody's having a big time. You know, a lot of things that you mentioned, you mentioned uh, uh, being prepared at home, and this is the time of the year when, you know, we need to be really aware of storms and that sort of thing. Uh, can you give us a few tips about what you should be uh, doing right now to be prepared in case you had a severe so a storm here? Sure. First and foremost, you need to have a weather radio at home. Uh, and, you know, we hear a lot about our smoke detectors and our batteries and our smoke detectors but weather radios have batteries in them too so always remember when you change the batteries in your smoke detectors when the time changes change that battery in the weather radio as well make sure it's turned on make sure it's programmed if it's not programmed correctly or you don't think it's programmed correctly give us a call we'll make sure it's programmed correctly for you uh, make sure you know where your safe place is uh, in the event that that weather radio goes off. Make sure you know where that safe place is. And at any time, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, give us a call or look at our website. There's a lot of good information on there. You know, uh, to, and this it may have been a part of your emergency management group for a long time, but today is the first time I've ever seen all the computers set up back here. And, you, and, and, part, and, and Ken Hallback, who works with you, uh, was talking a moment ago about, uh, about security, and that's part of what you guys are concerned about as well. It is. You know, after 9-11, the big push was uh, uh, Homeland Security was developed. And emergency management has been around since 79. Uh, but after 9-11, Homeland Security, emergency management fell under Homeland Security. And so that's part of our, our job as well now. And cyber security is such a, it, cyber threats is such a huge deal now, you know, with the Internet and everything. So, so yeah, and we're talking, Ken, of course, is talking about how to, how to stay safe on the Internet, not, not only from cyber threats, but how to how to monitor what your kids are are looking at as well so and how to keep your kids safe on the internet okay uh, th this is a, an event like as you, you just mentioned that it's three years you guys have been doing that do you alternate that between telehome and manchester or is this a, an event that's here in telehome every year it's actually here every year in telehome we this is our third year here 
we actually do an event in Manchester, and it's it's held the first Saturday in October in Manchester, and it's called Preparedness Day. We do it at Home Depot. We do it partnered with Home Depot. So we do two events a year, one in Manchester and one in Tullahoma. So, so two opportunities to come out and enjoy the fun. And it has been fun because there's a lot of other stuff that's going on, as you mentioned a moment ago, that's associated with this. There's something for everybody. Uh, somebody's brought pizza out here that seems to be a real popular item. Right. We had we had three sponsors for that pizza today. Uh, we had 1-800-BOARD-UP, which is a company here in town, and we had Stan McNabb and uh, Mike's Tire and Auto here in town. So they sponsored the pizza, giving it away today. Sundrop sponsored the, the Sundrops, of course, and so we're giving those away today as well. So. All right. And a lot of good information you can gather from this, too. Alan Lindley, thank you so much. You guys do a thank great you. job with Coffee County Emergency Management. Don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. This week's guest includes Shelbyville Parks and Recreation Director Sylvia Pinson, who will tell us about an old drug turn-in program and lots more happenings at their center. Tullahoma High School Guidance Counselor Brenda Welch will talk to us about a meeting for students interested in the dual enrollment program with Motlow, and chiropractor Dr. Dave Heinrich will stop by and tell us about taking over loss and Solistic Chiropractic Center. Let, and let us also, also let us know about his specials during the month of April. But that's not all. There's even more on this week's Living Show. We'll be right back in just a moment with more News Leader on 6. It's a great day at Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma. Keith Barnett here today to tell you about the 2013 redesigned Ford Fusion. It is the best mid-sized car for the money. It averages 35 miles per gallon. And most of all, folks, it is a five-star safety rated vehicle. These Ford Fusions start out at $19,995 after Ford manufactured rebates and incentives. So come on down to Russell Barnett Ford of Tullahoma or visit us on the web at russellbarnett.com. Tell them, Clay. My question is, why buy anywhere else? Citizens Tri-County Bank has offices in Tullahoma. And for your banking convenience, offices all across this region. At Citizens Tri-County Bank, we listen when you tell us what you want in banking. So at our beautiful new Tullahoma downtown office at 201 North Jackson Street, enjoy the kids' playroom, home-like fireplace sitting area, drive up 24-7 ATM, ample parking, and lighted and camera monitored drive throughs Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. Welcome to Camino Real, home of the area's most authentic Mexican food. Expect quality service in a friendly environment that features the only truly authentic Mexican food in the area. With favorites like tacos, fajitas, enchiladas, burritos, tostadas, freshly made guacamole and Mexican rice. All made from scratch using homemade Mexican recipes and only the freshest ingredients. Come and enjoy a meal at Camino Real with the great food, friendly service and warm atmosphere of old Mexico. Welcome back. John Gray stopped by the Naughty U in Tullahoma recently for their ribbon cutting ceremonies. John brings us this report. That is a sheep that lives in uh, the uh, knit shop here. Where are we? I got some girls. Did you get a girl? I got three girls now. Woohoo! There's a whole crew here for the ribbon cutting at Mountain View and the dislocated artist studio. This is the ribbon cutting at the Naughty U. And it's located behind the Coder Building. I'm not blocking him. Nope. You're not blocking him. Nope. It's a business that carries knitting and sewing goods. And the partners are in the middle with the scissors in hand. And it's about time to have that ribbon cutting. All right, everybody. On behalf of the Tullahoma Chamber and the City of Tullahoma, we want to congratulate the not to you, if you will. <laughs> As they cut the ribbon, let's give them a good round of applause. Yay. 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 All right. <laughs> As I said, the Naughty U has all types of sewing and knitting, threads, and instruments of destruction, and colors of every kind, of wools and yarns of every kind, and a great place to come and, and learn how to knit. 
And John also checked out the grand opening of the dislocated artist store in Tullahoma. Let's watch that video. Now we're at the dislocated artist location and Becky Shelton. It's her art studio and sales studio. And she's having her ribbon cut today. And on the other side, uh, they had a sheep and Becky's got a goat. So there's a big commitment All right, there. and there's Becky right there in the middle. Lamont, the you're as bad. You're as bad. I was, was going to say, if you'll take a step. All right, on behalf of the Tullahoma Area Chamber of Commerce and the City of Tullahoma, we want to give a great round of applause to the relocation of the dislocated <laughs> artist. There we go. All right, great job. All right, this is some of the stuff that Becky does. She, she's a very talented lady, and she does a lot of work with recycling. And these, this is a, a presentation of pictures that will be at uh, South Jackson Civic Center for the Blues Brothers. Uh, the old, uh, everybody, Robert Johnson, all of the, uh, all the old blues players right here. And that's all been, that's all done with paper and recycled, uh, recycled materials. So uh, Becky's very talented in that way. And there's a, there's a dress made out of metal. So uh, you name it, Becky can do it. Look at that, look at that piece, isn't that nice? So uh, come to the Dislocated Artist Studio and behind the Coker Building in Tullahoma. We'll be right back with your weather forecast after these messages, stay tuned. The construction sale continues at Russell Barnett Key in Tullahoma. Even though the construction process is still going on, Russell Barnett says we have to move them out now. Check out this 2013 Kia Rio, yours today for $15,995. With America's best warranty, Kia is the power to surprise. So remember, Russell Barnett Key in Tullahoma is the dealer for the people. And my question is, why buy anywhere else? All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. They say nothing's guaranteed about the future except death and taxes. Yeesh. Can we get something good on the list? Here's something. If for any reason you're not completely satisfied when you add a charter service, you get your money back. That's right. Try it for 30 days, be completely satisfied, or your money back. At Charter, we've been working to improve our service. Now we guarantee it. Try Charter. It's smarter. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1977 at 86 degrees. The record low was in 1928 at 25 degrees. Every child on this day is 70 and the average low is 46. For tonight, look for scattered thunderstorms in your forecast with a low of around 64. Some thunderstorms expected in the evening hours of Wednesday with a high of 83 and a low of 64. Isolated thunderstorms remain in the forecast for Thursday with a high of 81 and a low of 56. Jim, I like my thunderstorms scattered, smothered, and chunked. Usually. Uh, that's a good way to put it, I Isn't guess, it? Chip. Anyway, he's a little different, folks. What can I say? That is our Newsleader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsleader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great night.